Hi team, this is Anna, makeup creator and teacher specifically for hooded eyes and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for today's video. We're going to be doing something new, something I've never done before. We're going to be recreating the new Vogue Beauty Secrets video by Kendall Jenner. She created this cute little spring French girl makeup look and that video is just super super cute i loved the simplicity of her routine i loved how natural her skin looked in that video that was absolutely beautiful and refreshing to see her wrinkles her sunspots her freckles her acne scars obviously she still looks so gorgeous and so beautiful i decided that i want to try her routine and see what it's gonna look like on me now what i want to say is that i'm not going to be using all of the same products that she did i'm just going to go ahead and try the techniques that she used and basically use the same categories of the product that she used so oh we don't need these little eye patches anymore these are so cute by the way i love the color of these so she starts off her routine with a little bit of oil and then a gua sha massage which is so cool because i love doing that myself in the morning honestly her advice on using oil and then gliding that gua sha super easily and then using a cleanser to get rid of all of the oils on your skin i that sounds genius. That is exactly what I was looking for because every time I use kind of like an essence or a serum for this step and then it dries down super fast and I can't proceed and do enough motions. So I think I'm gonna be using her technique from now on. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by applying this Elemis Superfood Oil. As you can see, it's very, very loud by me. This is one of my favorite facial oils because I do have super oily skin. So I don't necessarily need to apply a lot of oil and I'm kind of afraid to use oils to be honest with you but this one is quite gentle and apply it mostly overnight like to sleep in it it just really really nicely hydrates and moisturizes the skin without it feel feeling even more oily and greasy I'm just gonna do this side right on here this little gua sha or whatever this tool is called to be honest I don't know not a specialist here <laughs> it's by the brand called wilding I believe they sent it to me a very long time ago and so I typically just do the jawline because it's a very sensitive subject for me. I just don't think mine looks that snatched or that pretty, but we're working on it. And then she kind of goes down the neck, which I've never done. Is this allowed? Like, is this okay that I do this? I'm always afraid to like do something that is not good for you. <laughs> But I mean, she did it and millions of people saw it. So I guess it's fine. And then she takes like the larger side and kind of does a little bit of this to lift the face and then she kind of does something with the brows what i love using gua sha for lifting a little bit getting a little lift for my hooded eyes and just doing a little bit of this so this kind of also helps with the hooded eye itself and then with a brow lift like i always see the effect on this after i do it a couple times obviously there's not going to be a permanent effect unless you do this every day but i do think that there is some truth to this technique and that if you do this often enough your face is going to look really beautiful as you know i have not ever done anything to my face like no bo botox no filler no nothing and that's why I really, really enjoy these like little tips and tricks that are a little bit more natural, a little bit more massage focused, something that I can do at home and that makes me feel more beautiful. Like this side already looks a little bit more lifted and I'm just here for it. I love this technique and that is definitely a step that I will take for myself and um, use even more from now on. Okay, so then she proceeds cleansing her skin, which I already did. I actually used the Rode Pineapple Refresh Daily Cleanser. This was my first time using it. It's quite gentle. I really like the softness and the effect after using it. So now we're moving into actual skin prep steps. So we're gonna start with a lip balm. And as you guys know, my favorite is this one by Tower 28. This is their Lip Softy Rude. And I'm using the clear version to prep my lips. I feel like this actually works and my lips are going to stay hydrated all day long. Now we're going to apply moisturizer and to be on theme and honestly because I really love this one, I'm going to use the Rogue Berry Restore Cream. This is, I want to say, my favorite product from their line because it honestly just works like a good moisturizer on my skin. I use Rode as a line to prep my skin before makeup application. Now next thing she does is sunscreen, but I really hope that you're not going to be mad if I apply a little bit of under eye prep. I can't skip this step. This is way too important for me. So I'm going to use my favorite Colin Rothschild Illuminating Tinted Eye Cream. This will not only prep my under eye area but also color correct it, which is why I love it so much. So I'm just going to 
do a cheeky sneaky little layer of this you can see the difference immediately highly recommend this product it's so good and now we're gonna have some fun with sunscreen because i got the viral crazy whip sunscreen so this is by vacation their sunscreen mousse <sighs> i am scared do i need to shake it let's let's do this oh that actually actually feels like whipped oh that is so i did not expect it to feel this way oh it smells like sunscreen <laughs> but when i apply it i mean it's kind of nice right there's no cast it applied nicely i'm not too mad at this i thought it's gonna feel differently but it actually feels whipped that's super cool but this is i'm loving this that's so nice. Look at that. It looks really good on the skin as well, and it feels nice. Going in with foundation as a next step, uh, like I already did on this side. And I'm going to use one of my favorites, Bare Minerals Bare Pro 24 Wear. I just find it look really, really nice on my oily skin, and it wears well, and that's basically all I look for in a foundation. And I'm first going to get one pump on this brush. The brush is from Makeup by Mario, one of the best brushes to apply foundation with. And I'm going to spread this pump all over the side of my face, kind of pressing it in, but honestly not too worrying about the blending, because I am going to get into the sponge and make sure everything is even. So this is a job well done. And I'm gonna get, I believe this is, yeah, this is my Perlis uh, sponge. I've been loving this. I actually ordered the Limoncello Little Beauty Blender during the Sephora sale, one of the three items that I ordered. Yes, three. I did not spend a lot of money on the Sephora sale and I'm kind of proud of myself. What a nice, nice foundation. It literally just blended itself. Let's go ahead and apply concealer. I'm actually going to be using my Jane Iredale little, what is it called? Pure Match Liquid Concealer. I actually love this. I think that this deserves a way more hype. And I'm gonna do little dots, just like Kendall, even though I need more concealer than her, <laughs> and apply a little bit through here and here. And concealer, I am going to blend with a sponge without any brush, and I'm just going to tap that in. This is a nice concealer. I would say it's very natural looking, medium coverage, but you can build it up. And the way I like to build it up is I like to take a super, super light version of this, which I do own in the shade 2N. And I love just doing a tiny dot right through here to get rid of any discoloration. And because I just love a bright under eye. And I know we're going for a natural look today. I am doing my best <laughs> to not overdo it and just be natural. But you know, your girl loves full glam. So what can you do? I do like the combination of that foundation and the concealer. I feel like my skin is looking good. Take it into account that we're not using any primer. You know what I mean? We just use moisturizer and sunscreen. Typically, that's a big no for me. I need two primers at least. So I'm kind of really excited about the fact that my skin is looking great, even though I did not do my regular steps and now we're gonna go on and snatch one side of my face we're gonna first use contour so like a deeper cool tone shade rather than bronzer which is a warm tone shade but we'll get to it so i'm gonna be using for my contour today the dibs beauty glow tour stick in the shade pink cosmos but i'm only going to get into this contour shade not the pink super cute blush unfortunately it's a little messy but that's on me this shade i feel like is perfect for contour it's deep it's cool toned it's not too overwhelming i'm also going to pair it with their brush this is their face dual brush and i'm going to pick up a little bit of this product and go oh, sculpt my face this is quite pigmented but it's very forgiving so it's going to blend itself as you can see i just tapped in a little bit of that product and we already have some color going on which is honestly amazing i'm gonna do a tiny bit on my jawline and then a little bit on the forehead and that's all Kendall does in terms of contour she does way more with the bronzer both cream and powder and that's what we're going to do this is beautiful this is just like a touch a touch of contour and that's exactly what we need so now i'm gonna go in with a bronzer which again this is cool toned bronzer is warm toned and i'm gonna show you the difference i picked out my favorite say bronzer in the shade medium bronze and you can immediately see that this has way more orange i want to say pigment in it 
way more warm and this is going to help us create a sun-kissed look so i actually want to grab a different brush i'm gonna use this jones Road brush um they sent it to me with their blush but i think it's gonna work really well for the bronzer as well and i'm kind of just going to warm up that space where we contoured and actually put this a tiny bit higher than the contour itself so the contour sculpts the face where we have our shadow and the bronzer is going to bronze up the face and bring that sun-kissed look even though we are looking white as a ghost never stopped me and then i'm going to do the side of the forehead as well a little bit over here and then take a smaller brush oh i actually have a brush that she used but i didn't use it i am going to use the smaller brush that she used so she was using the it cosmetics dual brush and she used this guy for the contour and bronzer and this guy for the nose contour and then some eye bronzer i guess so i am going to do the same thing this paints me bronzer right on the eye without any primer <sighs> But this is for the sake of the experiment. So this is what I'm gonna do. Just apply this cream bronzer over here. At least I know that we're going to set it with brown eyeshadow. That helps me a little bit. We're just creating some shadow there, I guess. Kind of all over the eye. And then a little bit of a nose contour vibe. I'm still using that same bronzer. Granted, this brush is amazing for this step. I will continue to use it for nose contour. Thanks, Candle. I love that she's teaching me tips and tricks on how to apply makeup. So now for cream blush, she said that she's into these bruised red berry deep kind of blushes. And I have a new product to test out. This is by Frank Beauty. This is their lip and cheek tint, cheek slime. And they reformulated this one. As far as I remember, I was not the biggest fan of their first version of this. So I'm super pumped to try the new one. Also, they did send over a brush to use with this product, which is this kind of like a dual fiber brush to apply foundation with. Let's see. I am going to go ahead and open this guy. So I picked up the shade Jam Sash, which is that bruised berry whatever shade. I'm going to put a tiny little bit because it's super deep. We're going to play with this nonetheless. I am going to mix it work it into the brush so this is what the brush is looking like right now and then i'm going to try pray to the makeup gods and not overdo it and just apply a little bit of this I kind of feel like i need to blend it out better with a beauty blender but the shade team we killed it with the shade this was a right decision i love how it looks like that's kind of cute that's kind of cute it's giving a little bit of a glow i'm not sure how i feel about applying it with this brush specifically i mean it looks cute but i think i would prefer just using my regular blush brushes cream blush brushes that are way more dense but it looks gorgeous it look i'll give them that it looks gorgeous lastly for the cream products we're gonna take a cream highlighter i'm not sure what product she used it was kind of like an illuminator so maybe it was more of a body highlight i'm not sure i'm gonna be using my favorite liquid highlighter of all times which is by laura mercier this is their liquid highlighter shocking <laughs> my favorite shade is i don't know it's might not be my favorite shade but i just use it all the time is champagne pink and this baby is just Perfection. Perfection. I need to see if I have other shades so I could use those as well because this one is almost empty. I've been using it a lot. The skin is looking pretty. I'm loving this little routine candle has going on. To be honest, it hasn't been that different from what I do. I'm gonna do the other side for the short form content and come back to finish off the face. All right, the face is looking good so far. We haven't powdered yet, but we'll get to that step. And I am just working on my brows. I have already done this side. I'm gonna start off with my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 3.5. And I'm just going to fill in the brow, make it a little longer, nothing too crazy. Just making sure that I fill in a little bit in the front since I have way less hairs here. And now to set the brow, I'm just gonna continue with the Benefit theme and do the fluff up brow wax. This one is just clear. Again, I don't really like colorful brow products besides the pencils. Am I dreaming? I cannot believe that we're actually at the step of pressed powder, which makes me super happy. So I'm just going to make sure there is no creasing going on at the moment. I'm gonna use two powders because that's how I roll. I will always use the Pat McGrath under eye powder under my eyes. I'm gonna pack that on here for that smooth, smooth finish. Looking good. And then for the rest of my face, I'm actually gonna go ahead and use my new Fave Fave powder. This is by Laura Mercier. This is their new translucent pressed 
setting powder in ultra blur and i actually love to take not a very fluffy brush but like a denser brush for this there is a puff here but i like to use like a little bit of a denser brush for this not the most fluffy brush so maybe this one the other side of the dips beauty is going to work and then start pressing and i am going to not lightly set my face but actually set my face i know that candle might not have skin as oily as mine and maybe she just needs a little layer but i will actually properly set my face it looks really good i love that i can still see the glow it is probably the combination of the highlighter and the blush working together and showing that pigment from underneath the powder honestly so fun loving this and this powder is just really good for setting the face if you have oily skin like you can see that it's blurred mattified and it does all of the things that it claims to be doing which is everything we love yeah the face is looking nice i was not expecting to like this routine so much because i just usually use so much more makeup so much more steps and this is just looking really really nice and really really cute okay for powder blush i picked out my lys no limits matte bronzer in the shade motivate which is light and i love this powder bronzer actually i don't know why not a lot of people are talking about it or maybe because it's an old lunch i don't know i picked it up in one of the previous sephora events and i don't really have a lot of experience with the lys brand i do have their cream blush and their powder bronzer and that's basically it but i actually enjoy these products a lot so because i have such a large collection sometimes i just go and pick out a product that i know i haven't used in a while but love so this is one of them and i'm just using a bit of powder bronzer to bring some color back to my face after we powdered and now i'm gonna go in with a blush and this step i am supposed to be using a powder blush but i again wanted to pick out a product from collection that i love so much but i have not used in a while and i also was kind of thinking about unique berry colors and so this is what i pulled out the half magic beauty blushes they are not sold in this component this is just their magnetic palette that i created myself and put all of these things in there so these are their blushes i have five of the shades i'm not sure i think this is the entire line and as you can see they have really cool fun shades that are so so versatile so i'm going to mix the pink one the purple one and then this one i'm just going to go ahead and re-intensify my blush this is not necessarily a powder formula but it isn't a cream either it's something in between what do they call it cloud blush i'm not really sure i would say this is very similar to natasha denona's cream to powder formula and i love 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 these they're so good and this brush is also by them by half magic beauty and it's my favorite cream blush brush so these together are just such a beautiful pair we look pretty we look pretty kendall knows something about makeup it doesn't hurt to be a supermodel, I guess. Lastly, for the eyes, we just need a brown eyeshadow. We're not gonna be inventing anything. We're not gonna be doing anything new. We're not gonna be doing anything creative. Well, it is very new to me. Just applying brown matte eyeshadow and going on about your day. Very not me. I need shimmer, I need eyeliner, I need lashes, I need everything. I'm gonna go in with the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Palette because you cannot go wrong with this guy. This is the best palette for brown eyeshadows. And I guess we're just gonna go with brown all over actually looking pretty nice and then i'm gonna go with the other side of this brush this is by dips beauty pick up a deep brown shade i'm gonna run this deep brown along the lower lash line it kind of works on me too i guess because i also have like deep brown eyes like her and it just kind of works really well we're gonna do something really scary something that i never do something that i have theories about eyelash curler now i think that they don't work but i do agree that maybe my lashes just curl themselves and that's why i think they don't work but they actually work for those who have straight lashes let me know in the comments if you like to use lash curler i just don't use them because i think they don't do anything but honestly for the sake of this video i will and i did use it on this eye as well as the ysl mascara and the effect is good like the effect is there these lashes look really good so let's go ahead and try this Oof, that was painful. I'm gonna use the YSL Lash Clash Mascara. Is there a waterproof version of this? Because this looks phenomenal, but I look like a panda at the end of the day when I wear this mascara. So I need to do my research and see if they have a waterproof version of this because then I'll be all over it. It's so good. I also do own the blue version of this and I still haven't tried it. Let's talk a little bit about the lip combo and the lip process that she went through. She basically is just applying a red lipstick and kind of blending it out with her fingers, which 
her lips look great okay i'm not gonna lie her lips look amazing she has like a distinct line a lip line whereas i do not have really a lip line my lips are kind of just there so i never skip lip liner and this is one step that i'm going to do differently so i'm gonna go ahead and apply my lip liner which is this one by natasha denona the berry pop lip crayon and i'm gonna top it off with the same berry pop lipstick which i just love this is my favorite red lip combo of all time please do not tell me that i'm wrong by not trying her technique i just feel more confident with a lip liner on my lips all right team i kind of tried to smudge my lips a little bit with my finger as much as i'm comfortable with so only a little bit but i feel like it still looks very much like kendall's makeup to be honest with you and i'm pleasantly surprised as to how simple but yet still glam i feel i really really enjoyed this routine let me know what you think about this makeup look have you tried this i feel like it's a very very easy makeup look to recreate i feel like a lot of people are going to have some kind of variation of this product in their collection that is why it's very approachable and really really nice let me know what you think about this look i am going to link all of the products that i used on my face caption down below let me know what you think in the comments below and what do you think about this look should i recreate some other looks from the vogue Beauty, beauty what is it called from the vogue beauty secrets i don't necessarily remember like watching these and liking anyone specifically this one just felt really really cute and i'm super happy that i recreated it but yeah let me know if i should do somebody else's if there's any kind of look that you liked thank you so much for watching guys i will see you in the next one bye